How are you doing? Frank Falvey here, and I'm going to show you how to create an event hub in the Azure portal. Okay, first of all, let's go to create a resource, and let's type in event hub. And you'll see it popping up in the list and just click there. Hit on create. And you'll see this is my page you go subscription. So what we need to do here, if you don't have a resource group already created, no, so we're gonna create one there and we're gonna call it Azure Bytes. And you can see we're okay to go with that. And our namespace, so where you go Azure Bytes there as well. And we'll just give that a number at the end of it just to so our region. I'm in Ireland, so I'm gonna pick Northern Europe. And you can see our pricing tier, there's actually two of them. So we're just going to go with the basic one for this demonstration. And our throughputs there, we're just going to leave that as one. If you had a lot more groups there, you could pick up to seven as far as I know can go. Actually it's more, it's 20, it used to be seven, but Azure is changing every day. So every time you go in there, you could see something new and review and create. So this is just going to validate that if we have everything yet yeah, successful. So we're just going to create. And sometimes this is quick. So I'm just going to pause the video there for second and so yeah so now that took about two and a half minutes there so we're just going to go to our resource and up here on the top we're going to create the event hub and we'll give it a name so I want to call this one tree and hit on create these partitions up here and the message thing. So whichever one of these reaches, it'll either go for the message or the amount of data. So we're just going to hit on create here. And this is pretty quick as you can see there. So Over here on the left, we got our events. And we'll see our event hub and we'll just click in there. And you can see there's our one we just created. So we'll just click into that. And over on the left hand side here, you see policies shared policies. So we're just going to go in there and create a new one. So just hit on add, give it a name. So we'll call this the send policy. Right. And we're just going to click on send because we're like we're going to be sending data to the event hub. So that's pretty quick. So we'll just click in here to this one and you'll see over here then the primary keys, secondary keys and your endpoint. So you need these so you can send data up to your event hub. So that's it. 
and I'm just going to reverse the process then like just to clean up the thing so you hit on delete I'm sure you want yes successful so we're just going to go back to home there and we're just going to go in here to our event hub and same thing just hit on delete and over on the right hand side there you have to type in exactly what it says there as your bytes tree or else it won't delete and that's good if you get something wrong there it won't actually delete it then for you so yeah that's how to create an event hub in the azure portal thank you